Hey guys, this is Reggie from ReginaldJennings.com. Just want to talk to you about this cool software that I found a while back to help me transfer my multimedia files from my iDevices um, between iDevices to iDevices or iDevice to PC. Just want to give you a little background story on um, how I found this software. Back in um, November of 2011, my wife and I. Um, I recently upgraded our phones from the iPhone 3G to the iPhone 4S series. Um, during that time, we had, of course, transferred several machines and purchased new computers and been syncing libraries with multiple devices and didn't have a centralized location of where all the files reside. During that time, um, you know, anytime you would try to plug in, um, our iPhone 3G to our new machines of course it wants to go through this process of deleting all of the content from the phone to synchronize it with its current library um, and so once we were presented with that problem of you know we didn't want to lose that data without having it stored somewhere on our machine even though we could have done a backup we wanted to be able to access that those that information at a file level I went on the search for, for this particular software. So without further ado, we're going to be talking about the ZillowSoft um, iPod Magic Platinum software. Um, this particular software has several functions and features and I'm just going to show you um, the overview items that I typically use the software for as well as the additional, uh, you know, just a, a simple baseline of, you know, the additional features it currently has. Once you actually have the Zillow Soft iPod Mag um, Magic Platinum software loaded, it'll go through this process of um, starting up just like any other applications, and you get to this main screen. Um, you know, the first thing you want to do is you want to have your iDevice um, ready to be plugged in and connected. Um, so I recommend opening the, this particular program first before plugging plugging in your um, iDevice. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and just plug my wife's 3G um, iPhone in. While you have this particular program open, um, it will stop iTunes from trying to load. I, I do have iTunes loaded. So make sure you open this program first before plugging in your iDevice. Once it recognizes your iDevice, it will give you an overview as if you're in iTunes. In this case, you can see my wife's iPhone 3G. Um, it recognized it right away. It gives us the overview of what content is residing on it. As you can see here, um, from the left pane over here, you have the ability to access um, pretty much all of the categories that you would see in iTunes, but at a drag and drop um, file level functionality. In this case, my wife um, is looking for her photos that are both in the photo section and her camera roll. So we're going to go right to that section. Um, underneath the photo section, you can see the various photos that were taken from our iDevice. When I right click on any one of the photos, I have the ability to open the actual file. I can copy it to another iDevice if I had multiple iDevices open. I can copy it to our computer. I also have the ability to upload um, content to the photo section of um, my iPhone if I wanted to. I can also add a folder to the device. I can delete items and create photo albums. Um, look at the properties and of course select the items here. Down below you have these three functions that also um, give you the same details especially when you right click on the items which is pretty cool. Um, so if I wanted to copy these are pictures of my, my daughter when she was first born back in um, 2010 so if I wanted to copy any one of these files, you know, I'm just going to, you know, just right click on one, say copy to computer. And it'll actually bring me up the browsing folder where I can actually drop the actual files to, which is pretty cool. If I wanted to open um, some of the files up, I would just double click on it. And um, it, would, it would use whatever the default applications I have loaded on my machine to open up, um, you know, the, the multimedia. So, um, some of my clients every once in a while likes for me to copy their contacts. So, I mean, you do the same thing. 
you can just scroll down and click on the contact section and pretty much what this is doing is now synchronizing the contest you know to this main screen over here and just like in the iPod um, or your iPhone you have the ability to just click on it and of course download or, or upload which is pretty cool um, you can also look at your apps here which is cool you can download those apps directly to iTunes so if you actually had um, a library ready and set up you could actually click on one of these and actually download it or copy to iTunes so when you finally do decide to synchronize with iTunes these applications are ready um, same thing if I had music I can copy the music I can move it to another iDevice copy it to iTunes I can add stuff create a playlist you know this is pretty much what I use primarily um, for the Zillosoft iPod Magic Platinum um, some of the other functions as you see below you know you have the ability to take a DVD or CD and rip it on the fly and then convert it so that it's compatible with your iDevice same thing for any you know files that you currently have any MPEGs or video files or music files you have in your machine you can convert them on the fly one thing that I, I, I recently fall in love with is the download online video so videos that you see on YouTube or any of the other major um, video sharing sites um, like Daily Motion um, you can actually click on the download online video browse to that video if you have the URL and just click download um, I haven't really played around with this much my wife has but you also have the ability to import some you know your music files and actually create um, ringtones now I know um, back when the first when I had the first um, 3G this this would have been useful back in my college days to have some funky ringtones um, when people call me so if I had this back then it would have been great to um, to use it but um, yeah overall this is a great application to have in your arsenal especially when you're doing transferring um, data from one device to another or one device to a PC I have found you know several uses for it um, with some of the additional features but primarily accessing the data at this file level is extremely powerful especially um, if you run into a scenario like we did when we purchased new machines or this, these items weren't residing on that machine and now we want to access them um, other than that, I recommend you know you know recommend this particular product if you're you're going to be you know doing some of those basic needs and of course accessing your files on the fly like this as if it's a removable device um, and you know just overall you know when you're moving from one iDevice to another iDevice this is a great application to have um, to help you with that. Thank you.